Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings throughout the world, throughout the universe. Uh, my name is Dustin Cron. I'm the founder of the Center for Global Muslim Life. I'm also the founder of Beyond Border Studios. This course, the Digital Media Academy, is created as a partnership between my two organizations uh, that represent two sides of my work, the Beyond Border Studios, telling stories broadly, always rooted in faith-rooted stories, social impact-rooted stories, spiritual impact-rooted stories, and stories of transformation with the Center for Global Muslim Life. Now, my new nonprofit that I launched in 2020 that's really about telling the story uh, of Muslim life in a way that hasn't been done before and in the unique global rooted in the unique global character of who Muslims are and wh who we are as a community. Our goal for this Digital Media Academy is really to bring in a large group of people into these courses. We started it where we were trying to do cohorts, but the reality is that people uh, learn, especially in the digital space, at their own pace. So what we've done instead is we've set up the course where there, there are these pre-recorded classes, especially because we have a global classroom. We have people in Europe, in uh, throughout throughout Southeast Asia, throughout the United States, inshallah soon in Africa, uh, and more in the Middle East. Uh, we really want to bring in people from around the world to learn how to tell faith-rooted stories, because there's a big difference in telling faith-rooted stories for transformation and shifting narratives, which we'll go through in this uh, first lesson. But in this introductory session, I really wanted to talk about the two big goals for the Digital Media Academy. One is to create beauty, right? That, that when we're doing faith-rooted storytelling, it's a little bit different than regular storytelling, which may not be about impacting uh, individuals in a spiritually moving way in a transformative way. And so when we want to tell stories, we can't just cut and paste into normative uh, storytelling structures. We also have to implement that reality of beauty within our storytelling for the Arabic word for it is ilham, right? This idea of creating inspiration within souls that can create transformation, God willing. And that is to me, my really big goal of this course. And so we just wanted to go through uh, some of the baselines of what this course is uh, to give you all an introduction and to also show you what the platform looks like and my rec recommendations on how to go through the course. So, you know, so so course number one, right, we're talking about telling the beautiful stories to create narrative change, because, again, we have to tell beautiful stories in our communities and faith rooted communities to create true transformation. Uh, so this is my studio, Beyond Borders Studios. I, I put a link to our, our most recent film, A Prayer Beyond Borders, which I think is a great example of the type of storytelling that I hope comes out of this Digital Media Academy and that I hope that people are producing uh, long term. The Center for Global Muslim Life, right? We, have, we use this term connecting the diaspora of hearts through uh, media production, research, and cultural incubation. We've had a lot of uh, global community gatherings this year in the midst of, of us all being at home. We've taken that opportunity to bring people together to talk about uh, specific issues like global Muslim film, like the Hajj of Our Hearts. Uh, most recently, we did a series leading into the 2020 election here in the United States talking about what uh, a political agenda would look like for 2021. Rather than being reactionary, our goal is to really be about uh, what does our future look like as Muslims become the largest faith group on the planet and we move from being one quarter of humanity to one third of humanity over the next 50 years? How do we move away from reactionary thinking into future oriented thinking that's really about creating uh, connections with one another and moving past this stage of is global Islamophobia, global war, the war on terror as what I believe now will be a new era uh, for global Muslim life uh, that people will be looking to around the world. And so our method really is about how do we, you know, bring people together, how, like I talked about, we've created these convenings. I don't want to bore you with a, a ton of language here on this slide, obviously. Really now getting to the Digital Media Academy, right? So course number one, like I said, that we'll go through here is, is first and foremost, you have to learn how do you tell a story in a meaningful way? What are different storytelling techniques that work, especially for social impact and spiritual impact rooted storytelling? In course number two, we do a really deep dive into branding, content develop, 
development and digital production for 2020. Um, in course number three, we talk about our publishing strategies for 2020 in the midst uh, of everybody having to be online now, right? And we talk especially about live streaming and podcasting. And, and then we also talk there about uh, social media, right? And that to, to understand the social media landscape, you have to understand the algorithms and what social media platforms are privileging at any given time. So we go deep into that. In course four, we talk about PR, marketing, and understanding your data, right? We, we go through the different types of media, whether it's owned media, earned media, you know, advertising based media uh we go through each of those or what what's called rented media is social media we go through each of those in these course in a deep way to say that you need to understand each of them to get your story in front of as many people as possible in course five we talk about business development digital fundraising and digital advertising strategies and then finally the goal of this course is that you come out of it with a product whether you're an individual or an institution, we have both in the courses. If you're an institution working together as a team for either uh, you know, a Ramadan campaign, a holiday pitch session, end of year, or even some of the organizations have used this course to really refine uh, their pitch to their donors or to their investors uh, to really take the next, the next step. I'm going to come back to this slide. Next, I want to talk about... Uh, the platform that we're using. So we're using this platform on Thinkific where you can really you can really hop around the course if you want to and go into the different uh, lesson plans. I put uh, a ton of supplemental reading and watch list in each section. And that's just if you want to go deeper on a certain section. And also I opened up the content where once you're in the course, you should have access to everything. And if you don't for some reason, email me or reach out uh, you can find me on email or social media platforms or Slack channels, whatever it may be. Reach out and tell me if there's any problems. But you can go through the different parts of the course. My recommendation is you look at the introductory sections and you really focus on the video because the video content that I recorded and I created for this course is the meat of the course. It's definitely the majority of the course. It's the most important part. When I put uh, links to different readings and things, that's just where you may want to go deeper in a specific area because the reality is this course is so big and we're covering so much in such a short period of time that in some ways it could seem overwhelming, but the reality is if you want to do this well, you have to know each of these areas, right? So you can click through the different things. Like I have links uh, to all the slides. I have, like I said, links to some different videos and things that I've, that I've built into the course. Um, like this is the film Prairie on Borders. And then these, these, media, these lists, right? Like this one, the first one has a ton of different content where you can go a lot deeper. We have different worksheets that are PDFs that you can download. Um, a lot of different really interesting things that, that should be, that I hope are helpful for you all. And then, um, you know, the, the end goal of this course is that you're able, like I said, to come out of this with a product. So when we talk about a product, what is that? So, so I use this term, there's a term in startups called the lean startup methodology, which really is about, which is about trying things on, experimenting and failing fast because you don't want to be thinking about an idea forever. You don't want to take a year to launch something without getting any type of data feedback to see whether or not people are actually interested in your idea. You want to figure out quick ways to start quickly. So we're learning, we're using that lean startup model for media production. So that's really because ideas are a dime a dozen, right? Everybody has ideas. The question is about who executes, who executes the best, right? So what we're talking about here is, is this cycle, right, of, of that you have an idea, you need to publish something, then you need to measure what it is that you publish, and you get that data feedback. You learn from that data feedback, and you're, you're able to go deeper. So this is what the end of the course is, is creating something within uh, this lean startup model for media production that can help you as an organization grow. That could be maybe you have a live show that you want to test, or you want to launch a new website, or you have a video series that you want to launch or something like we go through the importance of newsletters right now and really being in touch uh, with your audiences. You could, you could even just work on an audience map 
for your organization where you really dive deep into your social media data and look at the type of audiences that you're developing online right now, right? You could do a crowdfunding campaign. There's a number of organizations that have said, oh, well, we have this book that we've been trying to publish forever. And it's like, well, try to crowdfund the book, you know, figure out if your friends, family, your network will support your work. And they likely will if you tell your story in the right way. Uh, so that, so take any of those products, like look at your SEO rankings, you know, create an Instagram live series, whatever it may be. This is about creating something and it can be as small as like an Instagram story campaign that you're doing as an organization, or it can be as big as a full organizational pitch deck that you're putting together to, to try to reach your donors. But then it's about measuring that. And so if it's a pitch deck for your donors, the measurement is whether or not it was successful, uh, how your donors reacted to it, the type of money you were able to raise from it. If it's a live show, what does your data look like over the first couple of shows? Did it de did it increase? Did it decline? How are you marketing it? All of those things, right? And and so from that, then you're able to really focus your the learn section is really about focusing your audience development based on that that user or data feedback. You know, you could go deeper if you wanted to with customer interviews or or product interviews, right? Where you're really talking to your audience specifically and seeing what they think about uh, your work, see what they think about about your your campaign that you develop. And this is really about customer development, but each process is about iteration. And in the brand, uh, the brand section in particular in course two, I go really deep into my own journey with my brands and how I got to the point I'm at today with the two the two brands that I'm using now, the Center for Global Muslim Life and Beyond Border Studios, and what the iterative process looks like for that brand development. So if you want, the simplest way to do that would be to develop a pitch deck. So in the supplementary readings in the demo day section, I put some links to this slide bean, bean article and a few others to show you that whether you're pitching a film or a company, the, the generally speaking, the deck would look similar, right? It's really talking about what your problem is that you're solving, how you're creating a solution for that. What is your product? What's your market size? You know, you, if it's a nonprofit, your business model would be about how are you going to raise money? How are you going to make money? What is the underlying magic of your team, the underlying baraka of your team, whatever it may be? What's your what's your marketing plan? And then it's important also to feature your team slide. Um, that's one. Right. And then if you look, here's like a film pitch deck is actually very similar where you're talking about what your concept is. What's the what's the short synopsis of what it is that you're doing? If you have some type of trailer uh, that you've already produced, embedding it there. You know, what's the talent that you're working with on the product uh, on, on the show? Like who's the director? Who's the producer? What have they done previously? Um, again, what is the team? Who's writing it? Who's your cinematographer, your director, et cetera? Who, what's the production going to look like? The details, the locations, and then technical details, the crew, the budget, right? So, so I gave you a few different examples for a few different examples of pitching media um, for, for your, your company. And then um, I think that's it for now. And then I also put a link to this. There, I actually put a link to this deck template that you can download uh, and that you can put your own organizational information in it. You could probably you could cut and paste sections of this deck. You, I use Keynote uh, on Apple computers. It's super easy to design on, to easily manipulate. Um, I know a lot of people use PowerPoint as well. I find Keynote to be easier. A lot of people are using Google Slides now as well. But with this template, it at least get, it at least gives you an idea of what it is that you need. Like, uh, what do you do? Like, what is your product, right? And it has these tips on it that, sh that are really nice that show you th this is more oriented towards a startup, but you can use this for a nonprofit. You can use this for a media production entity. Uh, why does why does this matter? What is your market? The full deck uh, you can find in the links in the section on the demo day. So that's a quick introduction to the course, a quick introduction to what a dem the demo day would look like at the end of the course where we're going to come together and different people are pitching in our weekly live sessions. They're talking about the projects that they've been working on. Um, so anyway, that's a short introduction. The next course, uh, the next part of the course, we go deeper into storytelling. I pray that you're all well.
Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings.